Blackmagic Design released the newest version of Resolve 16, version 16.1.2. It is just a point release from point 0.1 to point 0.2, but they did make some significant changes in both the Edit tab and in the Cut tab. So in this video, I'll be going over the six major changes they made in the latest version of Resolve 16, Resolve 16.1.2. The first change they made in Resolve 16.1.2 was they changed the zoom interface. Over here it used to just be the plus and minus and the slider where you could zoom. But now they've added three quick buttons. So they have one here, they have labeled full extent zoom, which appears to be pretty much the same as hitting shift Z, which basically fits all of your video within your the viewer here, so you can see the timeline. Then they have the detail zoom which seems to zoom in about halfway, if you look at the line here. So it zooms in about half the way you can do it here. And then finally they have custom zoom, which you can change and modify. And then you can still use the slider and the plus and the minus to zoom in and out. So that was the first change they made in Resolve 16.1.2. Second change you made with Resolve 16.1.2 is also on the edit page, and it's basically where the timeline view options are now. They used to be over here, drop down, so you could choose what kind of if you want stack timelines, and if you want kind of audio waveforms you wanted. But now they have these zoom controls, so they move that controller over to here to the left. It's pretty much all the same options. You could do stack timelines, you could change your audio view if you want to see full waveforms or just a waveform border, and you can adjust your track heights. For both video and audio here. So it's the same function, they just moved it over to the left side here to make room for the new zoom controls. So that was the second thing they changed in the newest version of Resolve 16.1.2. The third change they made in Resolve 16.1.2 is here on the cut page and they changed where you can resize the timeline. It used to only change the uh, viewer here and kind of give you the more room over here, but now it changes the size of the entire interface. You can see here, it kind of resizes everything. And if you come over here and increase your viewer and shrink your media pool, if you come over here and resize it over here, then you still get everything changing. And you can also, they added the ability to come here in the middle and change the size. And this kind of works like it used to with uh, this control over here but now you could kind of split screen here and change the size of your timeline versus your viewers. So that is the third change they made in the newest version of Resolve, Resolve 16.1.2. The fourth big change they made in Resolve 16.1.2 is also on the cut page and it's the ability to set it to uh, import video only, audio only over here on the left side. So if you choose video only and then drag a clip from your media pool down your timeline, you'll get just the video and you won't have the audio and you could scrub through. Okay, you could choose audio only and then drag your clip over. Then you'll just get the audio, which you could then scrub through. Or if you go over, over to the edit tab, you see you just have the audio and you could play that through. So that is the fourth big change they've made in the newest version of Resolve 16, 16.1.2. The fifth big change they made in Resolve 16.1.2 is also to the cut page, and that is the addition of mark in and mark out buttons here under the viewer. So you can scroll the timeline and mark it in, and scroll the timeline some more and mark it out. So it just makes the interface a little more consistent with the edit page, uh, allowing you to have actual buttons for marking in and out here on the viewer and on the play interface here. So that is the fifth change they made to Resolve 16.1.2. Sixth big change they made in the newest version of Resolve 16 is the ability to scrub your audio when you're doing some trimming. So here I have the trim edit mode selected so if you listen here, you'll be able to hear the audio from this clip. So I can help you line up things a little bit better. 
and you could sync the audio with your edit. So as the sixth major change they made in the newest version of Resolve 16, Resolve 16.1.2. So that was six of the biggest changes they made in the newest version of Resolve that they released 16.1.2. They seem to have also made some stability changes. It seems more stable in my system, even though the previous versions of 16 uh, were pretty reliable, but it seems to crash less and just be able to play through and scrub through a little bit better, a little more consistent. And it's also easier to open up and shut down. A few times with 16.1.1, uh, I would have to go into the task manager and kill the process when I tried to open it and after maybe 30 seconds it wouldn't open. And then I'd have to close it and reopen it. But that only happened a handful of times over the last month or so. But 16.1.2 does seem to be more stable. So hopefully you found this video useful. And I thank you for watching.